VersaLock AG laminate flooring from Shaw goes down fast and tight with minimal use of adhesives. And the moment it's installed, it's ready to walk on. Installation requires minimal tools and preparation. Underlayment, tape for underlayment. Your choice of saws, no flip clips, 3 8 inch wooden or plastic spacers, a tape measure and scribe for marking cuts, a wood chisel or rasp for installing around door jams or against cabinets, adhesive and tape which may be required for tight installations. Let's start with a room that has been cleared of previous flooring and trim removed. Door jams have been cut to provide clearance for the VersaLock AG. Roll out underlayment along the longest wall of the room and tape across the strips every few feet to hold seams together. Make sure to run the underlayment up the wall at least two inches. Base molding will cover this. If you're installing over concrete, fully tape the seams. Now it's time to plan your installation. First, measure the room and decide the direction the planks will be laid. Calculate how many plank widths will be needed to span from wall to wall. Plan for a 3 8 inch gap between your floor and each wall. We want the floor to look its best, so we divide and use equal widths on both sides of the room. But we will try to avoid any plank less than two inches in width. In addition, we want to make sure that plank lengths are random. This will enhance the beauty of the floor. When using a power saw, cut face down with a fine tooth blade. Cut face up with a hand saw. Begin assembly out from the start wall. Start by laying down a full length plank with the tongue facing the wall. The tongue fits into the groove as you work your way across the room. As you assemble your floor, pull planks randomly from cartons to ensure the best look. Choose a shorter random length of at least 12 inches. Cut a full length if necessary at one third or two thirds to maintain random end seams of at least 12 inches to 16 inches apart. Angle up from the end of the entire row and push into the side seam. When you have completed three of four start rows, slide the unit to the wall. Use 3 8 inch spacers to maintain a gap with the wall. Work from on top of the floor from right to left. To put your final row of planks into place, first lay out the entire row directly on top of the locked row. Make sure the tongue is aimed toward the completed floor. Now use a piece of full width scrap. Put it on top of your final row and up to the wall spacer. Use the scrap to draw a line on your final row. Cut the final row of planks and connect them to the completed floor. Stand back and admire your handiwork. With most installations, you must install around door jams, under cabinet toe kicks, and other more difficult areas. But VersaLock AG makes even these challenging installs easier. Here are some tips. When you are installing flooring that will run through a door, make sure you adjust the plank so there is a transition seam in the middle of the doorway. This makes it easier to fit planks at the door jam. Be sure to measure and notch around both sides of the door jam. Make sure your trim planks are cut large enough to fill under the trimmed door jam. When working in tight spaces, you may be unable to lift the planks three inches high to lock into place. This is quickly solved by removing the locking ridge from the bottom of the plank groove. Use a wood chisel or rasp to remove the ridge. Apply a 1 8 inch bead of adhesive to the tongue and push into place. Put strips of painter's tape on the planks to hold into position until the adhesive dries, and then clean up excessive adhesive. In addition to the techniques we've discussed, you can also use a no-flip clip to help with installation. Use the clip to hold lock planks in position. We know you will be proud of your work and the beautiful new floor that is the result. Made easier by VersaLock AG and Shaw.